Hello, my name is Darius Probs, and welcome back to Universe IO. This is episode 10 slash 11, and I'm doing a voiceover for a certain reason because I've cut this up a bit faster. Today we are showing you straight away <laughs> what's playing. My chicken in a boat just decided to fly away. I don't honestly know why. Yes, this pack has been updated two times since I previously hit record. But yeah, the first thing I want to show you here is melons. Melons are very, very powerful in the uh, stages of this kind of, uh, of the pack. Um, yeah, you can actually uh, dissolve these and they give you three elements. And one of them is worth a quite a lot of EMC. But the sucrose is actually worth quite a bit as well. But the water is rubbish. But the best bit about it, you get nine rolls on the loot table. So that's why they're very, very important. I also crafted up a cooking pot to try and get some more things cooked up. So I could actually go ahead and try and get some more hearts to eventually take on the almighty with a storm. But yeah, the main focus today was to try, oh, well, in this episode, I should say, was to try and get this um, a basic EMC link thing. Um, quite EMC heavy, but honestly, once you've got like 15 melons grown in a botany pot, all hooked up automatically with an ender chest and stuff like that, it's not actually that bad. But yeah, a lot of uh, crafting using the Philosopher's Stone, and we're actually getting some different matters. Um, these are basically going to be used to uh, eventually craft things, but all of this stuff is EMCable, so it makes it a bit more easier. But yeah, we're working away on trying to get the special dust that we need from actual Project E. Um, these are in actual recipes that I need. Um, but yeah, we need an alchemical chest and then we need the energy condenser in order to go ahead and craft this special EMC link. So I'm missing four diamonds and I'm missing four um, obsidian to obviously make the uh, energy condenser. There we go. And once I've got that, I can pretty much craft the EMC link now. So yeah, this is a bit of an expensive thing. But again, once I've got all those melons and, you know, you can also use bones. Bones are very, 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 very valuable in EMC as well. If you um, have the dissolver, of course. But anyway, I wanted to craft this thing. I've never used this before. A basic flower, well, power flower. Um, from what I can read there, it basically generates EMC passively which is pretty fantastic so these actually can be leveled up as well so that was something i need to keep in my back of my mind if you know what i mean but yeah these are quite expensive now from in the past playing with different mod packs and stuff i've always used the um what's it called again the watcher flowing time there we go and uh yeah i wanted to try it in this pack but i'm not 100 convinced it's actually doing anything like it's actually doing anything I don't think it is. I don't think it does anything. But anyway, we have also got a load of dripstone and I've tried to produce some lava. Um, I don't know if it was actually worth even doing, but yeah, there was no way of actually pulling the lava out of the actual cauldrons. But yeah, the other thing I wanted to crack on with on episode 10, because this is currently episode 10 I'm talking about, um, is the actual crafting stages and creating and p making a storage solution, which is refined storage. So you can see here, I've just made all the raw little processes and essentially you just need to cook them in furnaces. And once you cook them in a furnace, you can actually go ahead and create all the other stuff. Now I was missing something, quartz. Now in my mind, I thought it'd be very, very smart to do some trading with a mason. So I found Barbara the mason. And uh, yeah, I managed to level her up to try and get a trade which a vanilla, um, you know, mason would have, and that is um, quartz. So yeah, I had to kind of grind out a bit to get a few more silver coins using gold ingots. Again, not very expensive once you've got melons because the MC is quite easy to get, to be fair. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, the trade was on reverse. So yeah, I don't want to sell quartz. I want to buy quartz, Barbara, you idiot. Um, so yeah, I had to stick to what I already did before, which was trading with um, some piglins. Now, I put some dripstone down there. That's because there was a baby piglin there, and I don't really want to get them um, involved. But yeah, we got 33 pieces of never quartz in my backpack. So yeah, that's probably more than enough. But yeah, this is actually used in the recipes for the refined storage stuff. Um, so you need machine casings as well, which... In the last couple of episodes, I've been making them. So, yeah, they require a lot of terror steel, right? But, yeah, eventually, we managed to go ahead and craft everything up. Now, it was a, a little bit of a grind, obviously, to get the actual terror steel as well is a little bit. 
Um, but obviously, most some of this is actually EMCable, so it's not too bad. Like the iron and the actual silicone is actually EMCable. But yeah, we just needed to craft up a crafting table to get the crafting grid. Now, there's no point making just the grid. You may as well make a crafting grid because eventually you can kind of automate some crafting, right? So yeah, we got the actual controller. We got the crafting grid. We just need the actual disk drive now. And then obviously we need to go ahead and craft up some storage disks as well to put the actual data on the actual disks. So I thought it'd be quite wise to just make four 1K ones because yes, I've got a lot of items, but most of it's EMCable really, if you know what I mean. So I thought four would probably keep me going for now. Again, I've got way more room to obviously go ahead and improve this and make more storage, if you know what I mean. But there we go. We've actually placed it all down into my little mana flux field thingy, whatever it's called. And we actually have to power up the endo flames to get this thing to work. Now, in my head, I was thinking like, this can't be very good because I'm pretty sure that this will actually um, use up power permanently. Because I'm pretty sure it does. As long as you've got data stored in those disk drives, I'm pretty sure it does. So I had to have a little bit of a think about something in the back of my mind as in a new power source. But anyway, I want to go ahead and make a, another EMC link. And this one is actually a tier three one. So this is two more faster. And the idea was to kind of make the melons get dissolved and pump into my EMC system automatically. So I don't need to focus about it anymore, if you know what I mean. So it's just doing it in the background. But yeah, I noticed I had a bit of a problem. You might have noticed there's some water was spitting out. Um, yeah, the pretty pipe um, actual extraction was way too powerful for the current upgrade. But anyway, talking about power, we actually wanted to go ahead and start doing a bit more of the quest here because I was looking into this like reactor class. I wasn't too sure if this was going to lead out to a bit of power, but yeah. Anyway, if you put cosmic dust in the actual um, dissolver, you can actually get um, osmium and you can actually get platinum little elements. And you can use these to obviously get the dust and then get the ingots. Now I needed these for the quests. I didn't honestly know what this was branching out to. And then it branched out to a reactor casing. And I thought in my head, oh, wow, okay, we're gonna be making like a proper reactor here to try and get power. No, we're actually getting a fission chamber controller or something i don't really know what this is but i think it's something to do with the chemical mod so then i started to dig in and i remembered seeing a bigger reactor so i got all the components i seem to remember in the back of my head um what i needed to actually go ahead and make a little reactor here because i know these things will generate quite a lot of power as long as you give them some fuel and the fuel is uranium now it's normally green if i'm not mistaken i've seen it green before i swear but yeah, I was looking to see if I could get uranium and da-da, I can actually get uranium from a block of amethyst. So how do we get amethyst? Oh yes, I can see the beautiful picture, the combiner. Yes, we just need iron and silicon dioxide. So I went ahead and actually made this and I thought I would actually EMC the um, amethyst shard because it's probably a bit easier than doing that permanently, right? But yeah, we needed to actually turn this into a block. So again, I EMC'd the block and there we go. We got an EMC'd amethyst a block. Perfect. So we've got pretty much infinite of them now. And I just need to actually dissolve this and there is a very rare chance I will actually get some uranium. And there we go. After like the fifth one or something, I actually got some, which is pretty good. And again, because it's an element, I can just EMC it. So yeah, we're just going to be basically a very quickly cutting this up. And uh, yeah, basically I've crafted up everything and I'm just kind of time lapsing me building this. Now, I've actually never built one of these before. So I did actually have to look on uh, on the old Wikipedia to find out how to build this. So it kind of reminded me as um, just making like a pneumatic craft kind of you know, multi-block structure. Um, but I, yeah, I, I thought it wasn't too hard to understand really. Um, obviously red means it's not actually on, on the screen. And when it's green, it's it's good to go. But I remembered I actually needed to craft something very important, which is called a power tap, if I'm not mistaken. And essentially this is where you can connect anything power related. But yeah, that is generating an absolute butt ton of power right now. Um, so yeah, essentially you just fuel it with um, uranium and away you go pretty much. Now it does actually have a byproduct as well, which um, I think is cyanide if I'm not mistaken. 
And I was under the impression that this was actually liquid, but it comes out in ingot form, which is quite cool. So yeah, it like it has a waste product, but it's like a solid waste product. So yeah, I just set up a pretty pipe. I've never done this before, but I thought it was kind of logical and easy to understand really. Um, basically, you just need to feed in uranium and export cyanide. Otherwise, I guess it'll blow up. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, you just got to make sure you turn it on. Green means go, red means stop. But anyway, I needed a lot of redstone for something. Now, I noticed there was another quest at the very top of the um, kind of digital age about all the flux networks. Now, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's been a while since I played with anything like this before. Um, but yes, uh, I needed an absolute butt ton of redstone to obviously make the flux dust. But I also needed something else. Ender pearls. Are you kidding me? There's a wither storm in here? Uh. What? Um. I didn't spawn that in here. Isn't that like what we have to kill on the quest? Finish the summoning quest. How to summon? Finish the summoning quest. But I didn't finish the summoning quest! Oh no! The wither storm is already here! Oh crap. Well, I'm a bit concerned now. There's a wither storm thing over there. Uh, yeah, that's kind of threw me off a little bit. Oh well. That's what you get for killing the ender dragon early, Dan. <laughs> so I remember I needed five of these, right? There we go. So I actually needed some more ender pearls to create some eyes of ender. And uh, yeah, so I thought I'll take an actual uh, trip back into the end. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. I don't know what's going on. No. <laughs> I just went back to go and get some ender pearls because I need ender pearls and I'm dead by the wither storm that I never spawned in. Oh man, no, what happened? That thing just like sucked me up. Oh, for God's sake. Well, that's that over. <laughs> man, what happened there? No. Well, that's it, guys, I guess. That's the end of this series. Um, the Wither Storm ate me for some unknown reason, but I never spawned it in. It just came out of nowhere. Um, I guess that's what you get for playing it a pack when it's still in the beta stages, right? <laughs> yeah, it seems to have spawned in, I think, by um, by error there. A um, bit of a sad one. Um, I'm not actually going to be able to complete this pack now because I've died. Um it's not too bad though. I think this might have been the last little part, right? But either way, very fun mod pack. Very much enjoyed this. Um, a bit of a sad death because I didn't actually uh, summon it in, as you probably well know already. And uh, yeah, well, thank you very much for watching, as always. That is the very last episode of Universe IO um, because, yeah, I've unfortunately died and I'm in hardcore, right? Bye!